Yeah, it'll be out there tomorrow at the beach. It should be a, a pretty nice day at the beach tomorrow. What we've got on Apex is looking at the, near the sunset. Boy, the days are getting shorter, aren't they? 731 is the sunset, so guess what? It's sunset time right now. It's 84 in Raleigh, 81 in Durham, 88 in Fayetteville, 80 in Wilson, 81 in Rocky Mount. We'll remove those temperatures in just a couple areas getting some rain today. Most of us stay dry, but boy, is it coming down in Northampton County. Those thunderstorms are drifting to the northeast, but there's not much movement with them. And then you've got a line of showers uh, looking like it's moving toward the east a little bit that might hit parts of Person County and the Triangle, but we'll keep an eye on that. There's a frontal system right up to the north that's just kind of sagging into North Carolina. It'll be close enough tomorrow, though, more clouds than today, so the rays of sunshine for your Sunday. Three. Yeah, it's going to be mostly cloudy to maybe partly sunny tomorrow, and as you plan your Sunday, if you're not heading to the beach, you're going to see just a slight risk of a shower toward the, the morning hours. You should get to church on the dry side, and then we'll pick up a 30 to 40 percent chance of an afternoon shower storm. I kept the heat indexes up there, but for the first time in several days, we're not going to be in the 90s. Not even the heat index should top out around 89 because we got mid 80s with extra clouds in that front hanging by, but it will increase our rain chances. So for your Sunday, 86 to 88 degrees in the Sand Hills, including 88 in Fayetteville, where you had 94 today, 86 in Smithfield, in Wilson, 85 in Rocky Mount. Variable winds around 5 miles per hour, and we'll see 84 Durham, 85 Raleigh, and 80 in Henderson. All right, let's talk about the tropics right now. Uh, it looks like they're more likely that something's going to hit South or North Carolina, or at least affect it on Thursday and Friday. With the winds increasing, that's the change lately as Florence is expected to become a hurricane again on Sunday. And they're starting today the recon, and of course, models and forecasts will get better. We're still way five days away, folks. Still way away, but this storm is impressive. But what's really impressive is not only do we have Tropical Storm Florence, we have Tropical Storm Isaac, which formed today, and Tropical Storm Helene. Isaac, by the way, I'm not I'm tracking it, but I'm not gonna I don't have time to show it to you, might head toward the Caribbean. That looks pretty likely. This one looks like it probably will stay in the Atlantic based on the upper uh, level winds. However, the problem is Florence is so far east, it looks like it'll miss Bermuda on the computer models, but you see them spreading out as we get more uncertainty. This big white or yellow fat line is the national hurricane line. This is as far as they go out and they want to go out, but you see some of the other models trying to take it over south in North Carolina, some into Georgia, some into North Florida, and the ones that I'm hoping for, the ones that keep it out to sea, because this storm is eventually going to have to reach curve and let's just hope it does sooner than later 70 mile an hour winds moving west over a ridge of high pressure Here's the problem. Over these warm waters, it's going to intensify with light uh, shearing winds to a Category 4. This is a major hurricane, and you see it here. This is as far as the hurricane center is going, but this cone kind of goes out a little more that, hey, if the storm is here at 2 p.m. on Thursday, it's got to go somewhere between South Carolina and Hilton Head and up to our outer banks. Not much escaping that, so we'll keep an eye on it. Nothing for us to do here in central North Carolina, but wait and just stay on top of the updates. This is new this year. It's when there are might be tropical storm, not hurricane force, the most likely time for tropical storm force winds. So I just want to put it in perspective. It is Saturday, right? Wednesday at 8 p.m., they shouldn't be on our coast. So we've got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday to watch the storm and see what we need to do if things need to be done if this is heading toward North Carolina. Back to our forecast. That's that front over us. So we're going to see a couple showers and thunderstorms tonight, and it'll be close by tomorrow. So we'll see a few more as we go through the day tomorrow. So here's what I've got for you 85 degrees tomorrow, a little cooler. And then back to 89. There's a cold front trying to come. If it was a strong, powerful Midwestern cold front, that would be great because it could kick everything and keep it out to sea, but it isn't. It's going to die out, and I've decided to add our alert. We don't use those all the time. It's not intimate. It's still a 50% chance, but just to make you alert, you know, I'd almost say aware that on Thursday and Friday, we could be affected by what will be again Hurricane Florence.